New information coming out tonight about a woman who went underwater in a Nuevo County lake and has not been seen since. Police tell our crew on the scene the victim was a Grand Rapids woman who was renting a cottage on Kimball Lake. We're told she was also recently engaged. 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker has been on scene all day long gathering information and has the very latest tonight on where the search stands now. Heather? The Nuevo County Sheriff's Department wrapped things up just as the sun was setting tonight. They tell me a big deterrent in their search today was a delay in getting their large boat, which has sonar ability. Overall, it's just a sad day here at Kimball Lake. Perfect for Memorial Day weekend. Jet skis and boats with tubes whizzing by, everyone having a good time until around 4 o'clock. It's a beautiful weekend. I saw lights down by the bridge where the tunnel is, and I was like, is people getting pulled over? And I was just counting the boats, I'm like, five, six, and I'm like, okay, there's a lot of boats out, and they're all going fast, and then they're just all slowing down. Nine-year-old Marlena Farmer was watching and listening from her aunt's stock. All I heard was um, these kids screaming, Mom. It's unclear if the woman who disappeared is a mom. We do know from witnesses that she was with a group of people in a pontoon. Some of them were kids. They were calling for a dive team, so then I knew it wasn't a good situation. The witnesses who were flagged down by the pontoon tell us they were told the woman was swimming and took off her life jacket and then let go of it. Fellow boaters tried to rescue her, but the water was too deep and too dark to see. I know there's the deepest part of this lake is, is, is 50 feet. That's the portion where they think she disappeared. The exact temperature of the water at the time is unknown, but everyone we talked to says it was very cold, which could play a big role in her disappearance. And it's a really sad day. I you know, real felt sorry for the family and friends for this person that's missing. The Nuevo County Sheriff's Department tells me the search will continue tomorrow. We, of course, will follow this and bring you all the information as it comes. In Nuevo, Heather Walker, 24-hour News 8.